Hello, this is Josh, mate on the AJ Mirwald, here in the pilot house of The Cashier, one of our museum pieces, uh, bringing you another episode of Science and Sailing. Today, we'll be discussing the role of the captain on board. So, what does the captain do? Most of you probably picture the captain as the person steering the ship. While this is often the case, the captain's position spans a much vaster array of responsibilities than this. Ultimately, the captain is responsible for everything that happens on board the ship. Like a good leader, a captain must delegate many tasks to other team members, but if something goes wrong, a good captain will take responsibility for those mistakes and work to correct them. He or she is typically directly involved with higher level vessel operations, while the more routine tasks are passed down to other crew members. For example, a captain may plan all the details of a voyage, or he or she may oversee a mate or a navigator in this endeavor. The captain may steer the boat, or have one of the deckhands do it, and tell them where to steer. Routine tasks, like cleaning and cooking, are typically um, only brought to the captain's attention when there is an issue. Other responsibilities of the captain may include things like radio communication, scheduling, port relations, overseeing the crew on deck, docking, undocking, vessel operations and maneuvering, overseeing emergency operations, and maintaining thorough and accurate logbooks of everything that the vessel does. In the United States, the captain of a commercial or a passenger vessel you must obtain a master's license from the U.S. Coast Guard. There are different types of licenses um, based on tonnage and location of the vessel being operated. Licenses are available in different tonnage increments from 25 tons up to unlimited tons. And there's also a six-pack license that allows you to operate a vessel under 25 tons with six or fewer passengers. The licenses are divided into um, inland, near coastal, and offshore designations that um, kind of tell you which areas a captain is permitted to operate a vessel. You can also get endorsements on your license for sailing or towing. Each of these things requires a certain number of days at sea. For example, to obtain a 100 ton license, the mariner must be 19 years old or older, <laughs> must have 360 days of sea time, 90 of which were in the last three years, on a vessel that's over 51 tons, or 180 days on a vessel over 34 tons. You must also pass a written text. The Meerwald is a 56 tons and operates under sail near the coast, so the captain is required to have a 100 ton near coastal license with a sailing endorsement. But the license alone does not make a good captain. As you might imagine, it usually takes many, many years in order for someone to have the experience and qualifications to become a great captain. What qualities do you think a good captain would have? Let us know in the comment section below. This has been Josh with Science and Sailing, bringing the Bay Shore to you.